Hello everybody, my name is Anson, and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Silas 4 as the Celtic Union. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we are, and you know, we're at war with the colonies. They think, oh, we want independence. Well, they're, they're probably going to have it. I don't think we can actually do anything. They have a hundred, they have 200,000 men. We have way more men than them, but shipping them over is just going to be a pain. There's no way we can really effectively do this. They would all need to attack at once. To maybe have a, a semblance of a chance. That might go to Canada very soon, which would be nice. Is this all, um, California? I think it is. That's trade company. I always get the two mixed up. So, the Netherlands are about to form a, uh... That's actually the Spanish. So, the Netherlands... Wait, no, it's claimed by Spain. So, once they're done in this colony, they're actually going to form a new colonial nation. And I don't understand why Cal or California does not attack Salish. They should, but they're not, and I don't know why. Uh, offensive ideas? No, we need tech. So let's get these two. Uh, we got the triple decker. Where is our heavy fleet? They are here. Let's upgrade them. Uh, military tech should be coming very, very soon. We're going to have a new, uh, new artillery. Did we get a new government type? Like, right now we're an absolute monarchy, but I think there was something else I wanted to be instead. Yeah, I wanted to be the constitutional. Manic hour recovery speed plus 10%. Uh, legitimacy plus 1. That's, eh. This one's good. That, uh, monthly economy change is also nice. So I think I want these two, so I think we are going to switch over. Spend 100 admin points on that. That's a little bit much, but it could be a lot worse. So what is, um, what is a constitutional monarchy? Does it actually give us a, uh... Oh, okay, th thanks. It's, it's the government type that has a constitution. Wow, Burgundy can actually field a 22 stack in that little country of theirs? That's actually kind of crazy. I'll actually, you know, should we give Burg or Burgundy more territory? I mean, we could. I, would, I wouldn't be, you know, opposed to the idea. So long to reinforce. Do we need? We can, no. We don't. We could build it, but I don't think we need to build it. So I'm not going to. And um, is there any more buildings we can build? I know we're fighting a big war, but let's we'll kind of ignore that part. You know, if the colonies want to have a little bit of fun. They can have a little bit of fun. Uh, trade depot. No, we're we're on this line. Really, we're we're already so far behind on this uh one building tree. Do it like that. There we go. Spend a little bit of our money. Calling these kind of self-sustaining. Gain imperialism on, uh... What is that? Oregon? You wanna... Hey, Oregon, you want... They're, they're already at 22%. They're at 35. They're at 100% against Norway. They would love... They're actually... They're independent. They're supported by uh, the Dutch. Um... Only... That's only being supported by me. Now I wish I took over this Norwegian territory because, um, it's just stupid. It shouldn't be there. Peru, all, I, I, I want to support their independence. But it's because they're at war. They're at 0%. I don't think this war is going to advance at all. Also, Pisa owns, aren't they fighting? No, they're fighting over Sicily. They're not fighting over, um, Defender controls. It, it's a weird war. But now that um, Tunis is actually invading Sicily, it should be a lot simpler. I'm surprised. Like, I didn't know Celtic America, America had that much, um... Liberty Desire. I thought they were in, like, sub-50, but apparently they weren't. If Chile could get access to... I mean, does Chile have a lot of troops still here? Eh, they actually don't. Celtic America is actually invading Chile. You know, so that's good. I mean, it's less troops than they're going to have here. But that doesn't mean that they still don't have a stupid amount of troops. They got a lot of men. Like, a lot of troops. So we're at 63 now. But we can't send over anybody without them just dying instantly. Like, they would just be so dead.
Well, we have an Asian transport fleet as well. We can send over about 70,000 men at a time. But they just, they just still have so many troops. We're losing war score because we don't have our capital. So if I can get, like, Chile, Chile. If you can go attack Mani, that'd be awesome. So if you were going to land troops, where would we land them? I guess down here in, uh, like, Venezuela. We then kind of position around that. Like, we're winning most of the naval engagements. 25, 25 to 2. They siege down so much land. I guess it makes sense. Like, a lot of this is actually just 4 level 1, so they should fall really, really quickly. Should we send troops over? It, it, there's just so many. That I, I don't know how to do it. Like, would French Canada give us military access? They would. I don't know if that would help us. It just gives us, like, a, more of a safer place to land. But if we want a safe place to land, we just land, like, Nova Scotia. And just kind of advance south. But they just have so many troops. They just have so many men. Like, if I... I would surrender to them. Like, if they want their independence, I would give it to them. Uh, pause. Like, if I was to... Wow, I... 11... It's 11 FPS on the, uh... The peace screen. Well, it was. I don't know why. If I was to suggest, what would you want? It's... It's 5 FPS on this. I don't... I have no clue why it's so framey. So they want... 1,200 ducats. Independence. Celtic Columbia, Siege Territory. You know what, how about we don't do it like that? I'd rather have the borders look a bit nicer. Oh, they don't want that. They do not want, so they want... Really? You, you don't want... Oh my god, this, this is so framey. But you know what, I think I am just going to do this. Because like I said before, I think I think it just makes the game more interesting if um if we do this. Because we were already by far the one great power. So you know, let's let's see now how the how the game will progress now that we're you know so much of our force limit. We're still making a lot of money from trade somehow. Like our merchants are still here, they're still pulling out a lot of money. Yeah, but I think, I think, it spices up the game, I think. Oh, uh, how are you? Because we can. We're at two. Nine out of six. We're minus five points. Is there any of these policies in the Diplo attack we don't need anymore? I think we are just going to, uh, stop that. Gain two more points per month. I think the colonization game, it's slowing down, right? And we lost a lot of our colonists, so... One, two, and then we'll... There's nothing actually... I guess now that we've done that and we've given them all their independence, there's actually nothing left to colonize in North America... Or in, uh... The Americas. I think we've just done it all. We got one, two, and then we can't colonize that. Yeah, I just don't think there's anything left to colonize. Other than, like, going to, like, Alaska. But, I don't really want Alaska, because it's, like, bad. It's Alaska. So I guess we're going to colonize more of, um, like, Southeast Asia. But there, there's just nowhere quick and easy we can colonize. And it's already being colonized by, I'm assuming, Portugal? Yeah. Is there any of the small... I, let me just, let me, let's look at the uh, possible colonies tab. Not that. Country, possible colonies... The highest are, are still in North America. It's California they want us to colonize. Australia, California. Lima. Yeah, most of it... Like, most, most of the territory has already been colonized. So I guess we'll just start in, like, Papua New Guinea. So if Portugal wants that half, I guess we'll take this half. And we'll just kind of split it between us. Where's the Asian tra uh, transport fleet? 
get over here. I want you guys to go over here. And of course, yeah, Louisiana. Uh, did it, it reinforced the Indian army before it reinforced any of the European armies? I don't know why, but it did. We're still losing so much money. We're way over the force limits. Um, but it, it goes by uh. We have five, five out of, like, a lot. So if we just ban this army... Cause it, it doesn't go... It goes by brigades, not actual tr raw numbers. So if we just ban this army as well... Spending 100 ducats. We're, we're doubled over the force limit. We're going to be losing a lot of money over here, because we're not going to have as much draw as we used to. Bordeaux. It still makes sense. To, should we just abandon over here? Oh, we also lost merchants. Oh, that's so lame. Um, but where do we just have a lot of ships? The Ivory Coast. Most of our money is now coming from Asia, so we can't lose this fleet. Lubeck, Gulf of Aden. Like, I don't want to really disband any of our fleets. But it is costing us way too much money to do that. We'll mothball these heavies because they don't need them anymore. The American transports are still worthwhile, so we'll move them over here. Lubeck fleet. 76, 93, 53. Zanzibar. I think it's, we don't have a ship a fleet in Zanzibar. I think it actually takes a lot of money out. So these these um fleets over here. No, why do we have an army? Oh, those guys. If we just, uh, can't on the Haozu, that's 80, it's only 80, it's 80 out of 600 we need to get rid of. Do we really have 1,200 boats? And that seems like it's a bit much, no? The Cylon fleet, we still need a lot of these boats though. I guess we don't need the Zanzibar fleet. How, how much trade power are they actually giving us? Don't actually that much. The Gulf of Eden fleet I still think needs to be pretty strong. But um, after that, we save a little bit of money. We're actually in the positive now by 100 ducats. So... I think it should be good. And... Well, now, now they... Now, like... Colombia wants their independence. More people wanting, are wanting independence now. So Louisiana formed. At least now they can actually colonize without, uh... I like how we still get the claim. It's still claimed by us, even though we have no territory in the province anymore. Okay, th thanks, Killer. I don't really care about that. Uh... Yeah, so there's the USA formed, and I'm... There's Mexico. So they get claims on all of this region. And I can't wait for them to start, you know, attacking J Japan and stuff, because they always do. 100% of the time they do. Also, Portuguese, you want your independence. Fantastic. Um, you would accept Protectorate, wouldn't you? They wouldn't. So if you actually allied them, establish Protectorate, and then break the alliance, they would say yes to that, which is awesome. The USA is right. I called the... I'm most worried of it. It's minus 25 liberty desire. That sounds fantastic. Well, how does that worry them in the least? That was protectorate. And I think we can just dissolve the alliance now, because we don't need it. On January 8th, whenever, you know, 500 months when the next guy... Oh, actually, they broke it for us. Fantastic. Get the next military attack. We will get the uh, cannon for that. We're almost at the end of the line. There's a few more for infantry. There's only one more cannon after this. And uh, there's two level of horses. And there's what? One, two, and there's three level of infantry left. So I wouldn't be surprised, actually, these guys declared war in, like, Norway, Florida. Louisiana is going to colonize probably the rest of their territory that they have claims on. Probably attack the Netherlands. Is this really actually in Louisiana territory? I thought that was, uh... Oh, it is. Okay. And then Mexico is just going to probably do whatever. And now they, you know, they don't have, like, a minus 75% uh, settler growth. So, I mean, you know, I'm fine with... I mean, but two of them rivaled us. Louisiana actually hasn't. So, you know, I wouldn't feel bad about actually, you know, allying our former colony. They're still threatened towards us, but... 
You know, if Canada wants to rebel, they better watch out. Louisiana's on our side. 11 out of 6. Jesus. Um, Delhi, we don't need the alliance with anymore. Sorry, Delhi. We, we, you're, you're not going to help us. We need the points. We need more, basically, we need more, more diplomats. Are we making zero points? We're still somehow making two. I don't really know how. And I think because we need more money after the fall of our, slight fall of our empire, we'll take the two trading policies. So we're making 551. We'll see how much money we're making now after. Uh, 623, you know? I'd say that's pretty alright. Um, uh, so now we're, now we're back to making hundreds of ducats. Even with the fall of our North American Empire. That's... Louisiana's big. I mean, I know, I knew eventually they would, you know, rebel against us and... Because that just, that's just always what happens. All great empires fall out at some point. And they are still number one. Probably still number one in every statistic, I would assume. Like, man, well, except for manpower, we are, like, zero. But we're tied for dead last, actually, for manpower. But, you know, total troops. Actually, the Ottomans are ahead of us. But I think that's actually just because we do not have, uh, fully reinforced. Actually, it's still up by 18,000. So I guess it, we're not as far ahead as I thought. Uh, navies, by far number one. Um, other than that, I still think everything's going fine. Ayutthaya wants military access, sure. Who are you attacking? Golconda? I am fine with you attacking Golconda. It means nothing to me. So Delhi dissolved that alliance. They're probably going to straight the friend or maybe even a hostile. Wouldn't be surprised too much. Is there anybody else? I know we're supporting a lot of independences. Alliance with Louisiana, Alliance with the Ottomans, Royal Marriages. You know what? I think we have enough boats here anyways. I don't think we need the trade power from the uh, Hansa anymore. They're going to hate us for it, which is odd. I don't know why. But I think I want to... I'd rather have the, you know, two different points we're getting right now. As opposed to the little bit of money we'd be getting. Also, why are the Dutch at war with Austria? Defender against Pisa in the Pisa Papal Nationalist War. Okay. What what a weird war. Why would Pisa invade the Pope? I don't know. But they did it. And Austria is ruining them for it. Why are they like why are they rattling it to us? They want months They want our country. They want to annex Ireland. Which makes no sense. I mean it kinda makes sense because they're all Irish. It's, it's, yeah, it's mostly Irish, and they're probably just culture converting stuff out. Look at that, look at that bright pink, though. And I like, I like, why is there cultures written over the water? I don't even, I don't really know why. It's a bit odd. Come on, Spanish Brazil, just declare your independence. The, the Declaration of the American, uh, English American. At least they actually did declare war against people from Britain. I don't know what that event actually does. I haven't played as the United States before. Have any of them started wars yet? I'm just kind of curious to see if anybody declares war. But I do think it's actually a good time to end the episode, so thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, the thumbs up. If you're not, you can have thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.